okay uh, welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel so you can get more tutorials from my channel and make sure you use the notification button also too so let's get right at it so like i said we discussed in the previous um lesson i'm supposed to be discussing um i'll be sculpting this <laughs> i will be sculpting this character space so but there are, there's, there's a lot of shadowing around the eye parts with which i need to kind of figure out before moving on so to do that i would need to i need to brighten up the image just to see some details out of this so to do that i would just drag and drop just drag and drop the reference image on here okay all right so then uh, let me just put this up here for now then camera raw filter so I'm um, like to play with the brightness of this. Mm, just a little bit, then take down. Okay, take down the highlights. This will just help me see the details a bit better. So brighten up the shadows. Nice, nice. The whites. Brighten that, uh, not too much, somewhere around there should be fine. Brighten up all the blacks, okay. Now we can see this even properly, okay. Do I need to add texture on top of this? Yes, I need to just to just to make some of those creases on some of those wrinkle detail kind of kind of pop out a bit more i'm not sure i need clarity to do but let's just get okay let's get a bit more clarity in there i think this should be fine <clears throat> yeah this should this should this should work just fine so i'll click ok on this <clears throat> So now I've gotten an even more, an even more brighter, brighter contrast to this, just to see the details a bit better. Okay. Oh snap. Um. Okay. 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 Um. Let me drag and drop this image again. In here, she just fits nicely. Then I'll just apply camera filter to this. Oh, it's not saving up. It's not saving up the correction I made. Okay, no worries. Let's just save this out. Save this out as one of our reference. Okay, just name this to bright. Okay, yeah, I think that should be fine. Uh, the music I made was that I wanted to kind of copy out the effect, but I've already applied it on there already. So I want to copy the effect and just apply it to this, so I don't have to redo the entire step again. But that's fine. So convert to smart object first. Okay, so camera raw filter again. Add some brightness to this. Uh, not too much, maybe a little like so. Take out, oh no, wrong one. Take out the shadow. 
maybe somewhere around here should be fine. Take out the blacks, add a bit more, add a bit more texture to it. <clears throat> Maybe a bit of clarity also to click OK. Let's all save this out too. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so okay, and this to bright. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just go in here and then drag this into our PRF into PRF in here. So this two should be uh let me just put them around here. This will be like the anchor point of our reference just to get some better scope out of this. I'll just put, let me just put this here for now. When I need it, when I need them, I'll just bring them out. So they should be there for now. How do you guys even set your reference? Sometimes I get confused as to where to place this, maybe here or here. Most times I place this here because I need to work with some of the tools around here. <clears throat> So let's use this. Let's use this instead. And let's get right at it. So maybe because of the contrast of my screen, I get a lot of dark shadows on the edge. I tried fixing that. I tried fixing the fixing that by increasing the contrast of my entire monitor, but. I realized that affected the way I textured things on Substance Paint and the way it's been rendered out also in Maya or anywhere in this software. So I just prefer to stick with the default. But if you have, if you're using, if you're using a match with a brighter, with a brighter, with not so dark shadows on the edge, that, that's completely fine. Or maybe if I adjust the. Uh, maybe adjusting the intensity to value of one, maybe that should help. Then bring in this. Mm, somewhere around there. Okay, so somewhere around there should be fine. Because <sighs> based on the reference, the lights, lights coming from this direction more. So keeping that in mind, we can continue with this, mm -hmm. with this here. So let's isolate. <clears throat> no, let's isolate the head. Uh, this is just wait. This is wait. This is definitely way too bright. I think I should return that back to the 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Alternatively, I can take down the brightness for this on the on this what should we call this gradient pilot. Is it what do what was it even called? Okay, call color pilot. <clears throat> um okay. Yeah, if you have watched some of my tutorials, you notice that I sculpt quite slow. I sculpt quite slow. Taking my time just to assimilate the shape in my head before <clears throat> before going into sculpt the forms in there. <clears throat> but what's inserting though? I need I need more definition to this. I need more resolution to this. More subdivision level to this also. So as high as I would want it to be. So let's just keep cranking this up. I'm kind of eyeballing it around here. Active points. Yeah, I think 12 million should be just fine. 12 million should work just fine for this. This even for the scheme pause detail also, this should work just fine. Okay. 
then the next thing I need to do is to create a layer for this. Let's create a layer for the so layers plus I'll just name this to <coughs> primary shapes. Okay. Okay. Then shift D to go down the lower subdivision level. So you might want to be looking at this. So in case I'm moving back and forth, you guys can understand the subdivision level I'm in. So subdivision level one is at 12k polygons. Hit D on the keyboard to go one step higher on the subdivision level. So subdivision two 40 49k. Subdivision three 198k. Subdivision four 794k. Subdivision five. 3 million polygon solution 6 12 million so in case in case in case i'm not showing you guys this but for now let me just leave it like this in case i forget to show you guys this you guys cannot be sure of subdivision level i'm in so it is it's important or idea ideally it is important to start doing the major primary shape block out on a lower subdivision level very important so mm -hmm. Now, I'm trying to figure, okay, let's see if we can find. I think just a little bit. You can see how this is kind of protruded out, at least this region. This region, this region is protruding out just a little bit. Can I draw? Let me use this. You can see this region is like around here and even here also around the chain. It's proceeding out a bit more to look somewhat like to look somewhat like to look as it looks somewhat like this mark you monkey reference in here. Is there another okay? This is a clear one. But not too much though. You don't want to go extreme on that. If you decide not to even add any of that at all, so that's, that should still be fine because in here it looks like it's not even pulled out that much or even at all. But <clears throat> I would like to push it out a bit more. Just let me just see what that gives us. So to do that, I would need the max lasso for this. Mm. Yes, in some way around. Yeah, like so. Invert this, blow this out a bit more. Is that gizmo? Ton of symmetry. Hold out and center this. I think we need to mark this out. Blow the marks. Get this somewhat like so. Let me see how it is in this region with this here. Pretty much just trying to figure out that ship a bit more. Rotate this a bit. No, that would be weird. Okay. So, take down the smooth intensity. Yes. I don't go too aggressive on that. So, undo that. Just make this turn down. Increase the smooth intensity a bit more. Smooth that out. Okay. 
Okay. At least now we have a bit more shape, a bit more of this shape around this, around this region like this, protruding out a bit more. I don't know if you guys can notice this around here. Like, think. Let me use this somewhere around. Let me mark this around here. All of these parts, like so. Okay. So, seeing that is out a bit more, that should be fine. Okay. So we know for okay, we know certainly that based on the based on let me use this me for something similar. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see this instead. Not for a fact that based on this, based on this reference in here, of this, I think I need to take a screenshot. I need to take a screenshot <clears throat> so I can better better illustrate my thought process on this. So if I just take a screenshot of, okay, I think. Let me cancel this for now. Let me get this facing. Let me get this facing also. While I'm using this to illustrate, I can map this out also on the reference. So click on new. Let's say we grab this too. Okay. Put this to the side for now. Expand this. Put this to the side. So basically, the third process is that uh, I think we would need we would need put this here. Hmm. Okay, for this monkey, I think can I draw over this? Can I draw over this? Okay. On this part like so we can see some measure we can see some measure of depth around can I we can see some measure of depth depth around this region at least this this part mostly which should be somewhere around here also so somewhere around here so pretty much somewhere around here. Yeah, I think and a bit more around here also. But I'm sure you guys get the gist. I'm sure you guys get the gist. So but for the main reference, let me minimize this. For the for the main reference we are using is not as aggressive like that of the Macio monkey. So Want to keep that in mind also, even though we're pushing it in, we don't push it way too much. So now, since I've shown you guys that if I should use a realistic reference now, if I use a realistic reference for this, that should be somewhere around. Let me see if I can. Okay. Uh okay, yes, let me just expand this. So you guys should all bear with me on this. It's moving a bit slow, but it's important we kind of grasp the concept of this before moving on. So I'm not just sculpting what you guys are not really getting proper understanding of. Okay, so so majorly if we should let's see if we can match this one to one. Let's get this. Let's get this. Okay, this should be here, this should be here, this should be here. Then we can put this here, then we can take a screenshot of this also. So if I'm to kind of figure out where that region is, just hide this for now. I'm gonna figure out where those regions are in here. So 
at least the part we need to push in like we i illustrated here just now is this part so in this part you can see this region here so it's basically this region here keeping in mind all those muscles this muscle structure in here so if i draw it from this angle it should be something somewhat like so like this also so then same also here same also here okay so the part we need to the part we need to the part that needs to have more depth should be should probably use another would be this part so it's a bit more it's a bit more or less like a gradual depth all the way around here gradual depth all the way around here then gradual depth all the way around here also so keeping that keeping that in mind so let's let's go in and then interpret that into our sculpt that's why i needed to have a realistic reference also nearby so i can do this properly so you guys can actually get the general idea as to why i'm doing that i don't know if i can let's see if i can mark this out just to get a better idea on it okay so yeah something pretty much like this but i think we need a bit more around here need a bit more around here okay so you're mapping this out then if i should invert the marks blow this out just to get a better a softer transition around it so i know for a fact that that should be i'm using the move to now but you want to be careful though look for a very a very good angle to the, for this look for a good angle for this then push this in come to this and see if this is working correctly Now I can't really see what is happening on this jaw side on the reference, but <clears throat> we're just going to use anatomical references to kind of fill up the gap in those parts. So I'm just going to do something somewhat like this. So looking at this guy's face, I noticed know, I that his reference face, I noticed that we have, he has more of like a cylinder face to him. Let me see if I can find and slightly slightly of a longer face to him. Maybe this is a good one. Yeah, this is actually this is actually a good one. This is actually a good one. Though the side is looking for more more or less like from the side view, but not completely front facing us, but this is something something somewhat similar to what we want to kind of recreate. Also, let me make sure look at this also so we kind of get a general idea of it too. So it's more, more or less like the silhouette shape of this. I'm kind of try to block out the silhouette shape of this. Even though the hairs are going to be covering all those parts, we still want to kind of get the shape. We still want to kind of get the shape in there properly as much as we can. Let me see. Looking for something that should help. Okay. But I think you got only the smaller, somewhat of a smaller chain to him. Somewhat of a smaller chain to him. Let me just put this up here for now. Okay. So I'll just let me increase this a bit more. okay so those sort of subtle changes you are trying to make to this subtle changes try not to go too extreme on this making subtle changes just to make this work 
Also, I need to make this guy feel a bit more masculine. So, I'm just going to drop the jaw somewhere around here. Then, push this. Take down the process, push this part in some more. Okay. But it needs to be more of a stronger depth in this part, so let's look for that reference. Okay. So more or less, like let me try to define. <clears throat> so more or less, trying to define the shape a bit more. And replace this with them standard. <clears throat> uh. Turn what the stroke <clears throat> that is the mouse reduce the. <clears throat> Lazy mouse steps for this. Huh. Let's see. Okay. Mm, I think this, this we can still use this. <clears throat> okay, another shape around here, also this shape here. So, I'm just trying to define that a bit more. Okay. More or less, like just see it as like a rough. I try to get a rough sketch in there. Just a rough sketch of blocking out some of those structures in there. <clears throat> no, don't need that one. Okay. Use the move brush again. Try to gently push this in some more. Okay. One defining factor of his face is the nose, so let's shrink this in a bit more. Okay, and try to get somewhat of the shape of the nose in there. You can see a, a bit of a gap around here. I have a smaller nose to him, so let's push this in. Get a good angle around here. Something smaller, something smaller around here. Okay, I think we'd have something better from this view. Okay. 
maybe the nose backward okay not that part this part backward a bit more all right so if you compare it to the nose of think okay let's use this instead so this is more or less like the shape of it this is from the side view so let's see if we can match that so we need, to, we need to kind of tighten this up a bit more because it looks a bit too thick but before we do that let me see if i can dig in a bit more in here Turn off lazy mouse for this. Let's dig in a bit more. Smooth that out a bit. Okay, let's do this from this side instead. <clears throat> so we know certainly that this you no. Know, with the move brush this should go in slightly a bit more like so then this should pinch down a bit more I think that's probably I think that's a bit too much I just go a bit gentle, gentle with it. Okay. Use the pinch brush now. Kind of thin this out a bit more smooth. We want to be careful, they don't want to thin that part out way too much. Maybe use the polish brush to help a bit more. Polish this in some more smooth. Hmm. Yeah, something's definitely not completely right around here. We need a continuation of it, so I use them standard brush to have something in here see if we can use now working in a very low too high working in a very low subdivision level for this because we don't want to go too aggressive on this and lose the shape so we have been extremely gentle Just being gentle with this. <clears throat> then we know certainly that this part should pull down a bit more. So the move. Let me make sure I'm saving. Let me make sure I'm saving this. Okay. Push this down. Okay. Since we've seen it to adjust though, but trying to get at least most of the obvious shapes in there. Most of the obvious shapes in there. Mm, okay. I think this one should smooth this down a bit more okay getting something there reason why i'm smoothing that down because based on the, on the reference from this you can obviously tell that this nose feels slightly feel, no, i won't say slightly though it's almost almost attached to the almost attached to the other parts of the face like it's not putting out like that of a realistic realistic human nose. So it's kind of should I say flat surface? So you can see almost flat surface. Hmm. 
So similar, similar technique we want to use in here. But also being careful not to also being careful not to break the shape entirely. Also keeping in mind the keeping in mind the topology of of this sink. <clears throat> I need to push this lower part. Seeing this lower part, I need to get out. When I smooth, it's not. <clears throat> Probably might need more subdivision level to this. Because that's like the crevices of it. So, okay, let's start by smoothing out then. See if we can get a pull out of that. There's something like this. I think something like this. There's a lot of stretching here, though. We get a lot of stretching in there, so we want to be careful also. Even though you want to get the shape, like you don't want to mess up the topology too much because we are going to be adding more details, especially. Especially um, skin pour detail on top of this, so you want to be really careful with it. Let's see if I can use the standard brush to more or less like do a fill up the gap approach for this. Smooth this down. Yeah, I think we need to work on this with. More resolution to it. So let's go one step, just one step higher. Let's go one step higher to this. So we have at least more resolution to work with for this. So this match is not entirely built for this kind of, especially on this edge for this kind of detail. Ball. Let's see how. Let's see if we can make it work. Yeah, this is going to be quite problematic. Because now we're getting quite a number of stretches around there. Let's go one subdivision level higher again. We under subdivision level higher to get <clears throat> get more resolution out of this. Should probably use the clay builder brush. Try to build something a bit more continuous around here okay Should probably increases a bit more Okay, I think we can make it work. No, no, let's see. Smoothing out way too much because we don't have enough resolution in here to hold that. There isn't enough topology in here just to hold that. Let's just see if no. That's too aggressive.
Yeah, topology is not built for <clears throat> it's not built for something for this region. You can see how it breaks apart in between. Um, we're having quite a lot of stretching in there also. See if we can compensate for it with the move brush. Let's go to a lower subdivision, probably the lowest subdivision level for this. Yeah, there's quite a lot of gap in here. Okay. Yeah, this is <clears throat> this would be a problematic area. Let me relax this a bit more. Take down this much intensity. I believe we will come back to this in a bit. And let's try to make it work. Once it's starting though, we need a lot of we need at least some more polygons in there, even the spread out polygons in there to get this to look right. I think for now, for now, this should this should this should work for now. Now, see a lot of iterations to make to this, but for now, this should work. General size of the nose, I need to adjust. Then let me show you guys if I do this. So, on the same page. I'm going to build some more structure for the nose. Let's get <clears throat> Let's get some more structure for the nose. Okay. So no certainly let's just block out the human like human like structure for the nose first then. We can iterate between the we can iterate between the using that of the macro reference I got. Okay. Okay. Maybe that seems a bit much. Let's blend this down some more. Something like that should be fine. Okay. Get something. It feels like I'm doing something almost invisible, but it's actually, there's something actually in there. So I just need to get that in place first. If I, should, I don't know if you can see the, based on the highlights, can see something in there. Once I go on some of the vision level higher, you should be able to appreciate some of the details in there. So just now you can appreciate some of the details in there. So let's just blend this down some more. Feels like almost sort of changes that so not extremely noticeable but still in there. So um let's let's see. I've done a bit a lot though. So let's let's save this for now, then we'll continue in the next lesson. Bye for now.